Right now I'm standing at Kanishi Market Butchery section, one of the biggest in Accra. Here local meat like cow, goats and sheep are slaughtered and sold fresh by the local people. However, most Ghanaians would rather eat imported meat over local choices. The local butchers here are suffering while consumers choose imported meat for various reasons. However, with the recent scandals in Europe about hot meat labelled as beef, are Ghanaians really benefiting from purchasing foreign meat? If Europeans can't even handle their own meat standards, what is really being sent to Africa? It is no secret that Africa has been Europe's dumping ground for a long time. Products that don't pass inspections are often sent to Africa. This applies not only to food, but technology and even medicine. With the recent discoveries of horse meat in Europe, we can't help but wonder if these rejected products will make their way onto the African market. Will this scare finally cause Ghanaians to patronize fresh local meat? The butchers at Kanishi Market are hoping so. <laughs> Ashama. <laughs> After hearing from the butchers, we wanted to know why Ghanaians still choose to patronize imported meat even though the local fare is obviously fresh and well inspected. Just on the other side of Kaneshi Market, we met with the Queen Mother of Beef Sellers, Mrs. Elizabeth Lamte, to hear her side of the story. New Zealand, Australia, and pick fit, no, on also free Sweden. A bin so free Holland. Na time e beba no. Wo mu check your port. Eh da no na mu yi wa TV so ya ti e. O si meet no e bin mu ye ponko na wo mu dia ye. Inti na sai po ye meet na ye to no wo nta nto. Na ye dia na inti sa ye dia ni dia clear eh. Meet an kasa ye call meet an kasa. Inti o mo bi abon hu. Ye dia ye to no e ye call meet. It's a box with frozen one. Okay. It's frozen. Now it's defrosted. Now it's salted. Now it's a beef. The answer is the following one. The following one is the banner of the beef. It's a dead. It's a corned beef. Now how do you know? We talk now with the yard. It's a wow. Now we say, now sent a bam. The market women have confidence in their products. But if European institutions and large supermarket chains were fooled by the quality of their meat, how much more must we as Ghanaians accept whatever the importers tell us? 
we wanted to know more about how Ghanaians and their meat are being protected. So we went to the Ghana Standards Authority, the government agency that inspects all imports to the country. Please tell us how imported meat that gets into the country are checked by the Standards Board. Imported meat, like all products, come under what we call destination inspection, which means that wherever the product is coming from, once they get to the official point of entry, we subject it to a scheme of ensuring that they are of acceptable quality. So basically, where do all these meat come from? Um, I'm talking about the other countries. Where do we uh, actually get most of the uh, imported meat from? The samples we deal with show that they come mainly from the UK, uh, a few Asian countries, and apart from UK, some of the other European countries, Italy, um, Spain, all of them are trying to export to Ghana now. So what happens to um, imported meat or um, meat brought in the country? Uh, at the Temaport, which does not pass inspection? If it doesn't pass inspection, we immediately seize it. We place a ban on it, making sure that uh, they are not released into the system. Because we know uh, our society, if we release it into the system, it will get vanished. And people are going to consume it, no matter how dangerous it will be to their health. It has happened before. How do you know we're talking about labeling now. Most of the products are labeled in different languages. Some are in Arabic, some are in Chinese. How is the standards board able to um, differentiate or read out um, that these ones, uh, maybe they are not elephant meat or horse meat, but they are um, turkey or cow or whatever. So how, how is the standards board able to check that? There are labeling requirements which must be obeyed and the labeling itself is a standard so you may have a very good product if the label is bad it means that your product has not passed the test the label requirements call for the name of the product so if it is meat it is meat if it is the cow meat it should be indicated if it is tiger meat indicate it if you don't indicate it it may not be allowed into the country Apart from that, it should also be labeled in English, and the reason is simple. English is the official language in this country, so we can all read and understand. If it's in Chinese and uh, Japanese or some other language, which is not subtitled in English, it will not be allowed into the country. Okay. Um, but we've seen some products, um, especially the corned beef and um, the, 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 the fish and tin and all that, some are written completely in Arabic and in Chinese. How, how are they able to pass this test into the system? We are beginning to suspect that because of the volume of imports that come in, they hide them under some of the uh, other uh, imports that meet our uh, requirements. Uh, so a whole container, for example, uh, may have uh, uh, meat, the surface of which may be um, wholesome, labeled in English and so on, whereas beneath others that are not allowed are, are packed there. And we are beginning to suspect because at the ports we don't detect these things. So if we see Arabic or Chinese languages on some of the products, then it means that it came in through some illegal means. Those getting the the unwholesome meat into the market have been able to do that so uh, our system is quite open what shows that it can get it in here when it breaks in say us or spain or somewhere it doesn't mean that it's gone everywhere all it tells you is put your system in place be more alert to ensure that uh, uh, no bad product enters your country Although the Ghana Standards Authority is doing all they can to make sure foreign meat is wholesome, there seem to be many complications with importing foreign meat in terms of regulations, tests, and preservation. 
at the same time the local butchers are suffering from low patronage while they produce fresh homegrown meat could the industry and the average Ghanaian benefit from eating locally produced meat rather than the risk of foreign imports what is the future of the meat industry in Ghana <laughs>